is freezing in Belgrade this morning, but we are back after our two day lockdown. I don't really know how that works. Two days, bars, restaurants, all closed. Back to normal Monday, but I suppose if it pleases the health police, then we are all good, but we are back exploring. We've actually moved apartments again. We like non-stop moving at the moment, which is loving Belgrade so much that we keep moving, but we're moving way too much. We're like, we're here, we're there, we're everywhere. So we're booked in now in our Airbnb for the foreseeable future while we plan our like route around the country. We'll show you the apartment later on, but we're heading out for breakfast now. We're actually staying in the Dorchal side of town, which is meant to be like the urban cool area. So I think I, me and Molly fit in perfectly, but yeah, we've been recommended a nice spot for breakfast. So we're walking there now and we're going to check out a couple of the local markets. I say couple, probably be only one because it's really cold today, but it's meant to be like the best local market in Belgrade and everyone loves a cheap bargain, don't they? Matt has said that it's breakfast, but technically it's brunch. It's about half past 12. Um, the place we're going to is known for all day breakfast. And I think Are you sure? Are we certain, right? Yeah, Cause... I know I am 100% certain. I have checked this and I think it's more like, you know, cause we're in the urban, we're in the hip area. It's all that sort of like oh, avocado you think you actually think you're, 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 you're getting so big for I'm your boots in really this area. I'm feeling really hip today no, in I'm my jacket. Sure. No, I don't like this Molly, you're becoming like, you just think you're a little bit bigger than you are. I think we need to, <laughs> take, you, think we need to take you back to the old, the real Belgrade. Let's not, let's not get ahead of yourself. Oh, then we'll be going to the market, so it's not so bad. Hello. So the place that we came into and found and was recommended is called Bloom. It's like a really small and the right word is urban. It is an urban cafe. You call it a cafe, right? I appreciate, uh, yeah, it's the right. I, I always think of these places, I don't know why, I always say like barley. Yeah, smoothie very barley vibes. Smoothie. The menu's amazing, like there is so much on there. You, obviously you've got the avocado toast, you have the smoothies, you've got an upstairs and it's just all very like jungly in here. Obviously <laughs> we had to go for avocado toast and poached eggs because what else you get when you come to an urban place, right? And you is, went for a smoothie too. I did, the thing is the pressure is really on our Airbnb host now. She's highly recommended, yeah, she's, she's even had. written it down in the room. And she's even messaged me and said, have you been to Bloom yet? So this, this has got, I've got high expectations of this. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. How good does this look? Oh my God, it looks unreal. We've gone for basic avocado and toast. Like we said, it just looks amazing. Iris has not let us down our Airbnb Iris host. has done well. I've got a smoothie. I've got a lemonade with honey. A little bit, bit too healthy for us, I think. So, so good, but I really want to tuck in, sorry. You know what I always describe these places as? They're like aesthetically pleasing, right? <laughs> People are more interested in the photo of their food in these sort of places rather than the actual food. But it looks really, really good. It's a bit healthy for me. And it would definitely taste so mm. good. The eggs are so orange. I'm not the biggest fan of avocado, but it's done really, really well. Yeah, you get avocado toast. I've never had a poached egg either. I get completely <laughs> drawn into that fancy looking food life. I thought, oh, I've got to get avocado and poached eggs, haven't I? Rather than just like an omelette or something host iris was definitely right that is the place to go for your all-day breakfast it's like your urban breakfast bowly type place it was really really good and i actually found out while in there that the only serbian word that is worldwide like the word that is known everywhere in the world is the word vampire so i believe the first vampires <laughs> if you believe in vampires came from Serbia, but that is the only word from Serbia that everyone in the world knows and uses. That has got to be the strangest fact I've ever found while enjoying my breakfast, but we are heading to Badge Leone market. I've done a lot of research on this because there is quite a few different markets in Belgrade. Some are just like food, some are like farmers markets, some are like cloves. So I was hoping that, that I could find one that sort of incorporated all of them so we can check everything out because I need to get, I need a new mask, I need some sunglasses. Um, 
So I'm hoping this has a little bit of everything. It might not. It might be terrible because my research wasn't great. But I know that this place is named after the family Badge Leone, who actually, uh, they made like a brewery over a hundred years ago in the Scardalia area. And they basically transformed completely part of the area. It used to be just like a swamp and they transformed it into what it has slowly become today. So they decided to name the market after that family over a hundred years. I think that market is over a hundred years old. Hopefully it doesn't just do fruit and veg. So just up there is Scardalia, which has the best food I think in Belgrade. And this is the market. <laughs> I thought you were pointing at me. No, this, this is the market Molly. Do you this. think it's more than just a few shops outside. Fruit and veg. No, I'm hoping it does cloves and has a little bit of everything. I hope so. And I also, sometimes at markets, they can be a little bit funny when you're filming. Um, depends what you're selling at the market. Yeah, if there's some of them, <laughs> some of them flea markets, some they do not like market. it when I'm getting my uh, my real Gucci. Where do we go though? What do we do? Go in. Oh, I don't know if it's go, where that green. Outside. No, see where that green gate is. There's people coming in and out. So either my research wasn't great or because of COVID, a lot of it is closed. It was pretty much just fruit and veg and it was starting to close up right now. So we have headed to Zveneni Lenek Market, which is another, close, close? Zeleni Venak. <laughs> pretty close, but unfortunately, this part looks as if it's closing, but there are some bits that are open here. Um, this actually is 170 years old, like this market. So it's older than the other one. Just hoping I can find something. So we have somehow ended up in the fruit and veg section. Again, they love a fresh produce market here in Belgrade. We're trying to find a little bit more than just fruit and veg. I think because we're a little bit lazy for one, like you can get everything you need here, but we don't, we've got an apartment, but we're too lazy to cook, which is never, which is never the best, right? <laughs> Not wanting to cook when you've got an apartment. It's so cheap to eat out. That is the thing, it's so cheap to go out for dinner here, but you've got everything. You've got like your fresh kale, you've got your spring onions, cauliflowers, but it's not things that we're gonna necessarily buy, but I wanna buy something. I wanna come to a market and buy something here. I wanna try and get try and get involved a little bit. Uh, we might have spotted that. So we've got like dried fruits, nuts, everything. See, this looks good. Hello. I'm liking all of this. I'm liking this. You've got sweets, you've got dried nuts. <gasps> These look really good and it's got the prices. I don't know how much it's for, but or what they are. We need to get something from here, right? Yeah, definitely. We need to get I don't know what's what though. Yeah, because it's uh, even just nuts. We get some nuts. Yeah, we can get some nuts. What nuts do I want? I don't mind almonds. I don't really know exactly what to get. We've got pistachios. Oh god. Just make a decision. Actually, is this is this like Turkish delight? This is Turkish. I'm gonna get Turkish delight. Can I get uh what flavours are these? This one and this? This one here? This uh, flower. This one? Flower. This, uh... Oh, ah. walnut. Yes. walnut. And this one is? Yes, flower. Flower. Like, um... You try. Yeah? Yeah, can we try? We can try one. Can I use my hand? So just pick. So I'm just going to pick it up and try this one. It says flower, I'm not sure. Alright, it's good. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna get it. Mm. That's really, really good. How much is that for? How, 200 for? Is that like how many grams? 200. 200. Yeah. Can we get this one for 200. <laughs> we have no idea. We've made a purchase. <laughs> 50. Ah, oh, it's only 50. What can I get for two? What can I get for 200? Can I get some more for 200? What else should we get then? If that's only 50. Can we get some? Would you want some of these? Are these sweets? Yeah. Yes. We'll get some of these for, for the amount of 200 maybe, right? So, it's only 50, it says 200, I'm so confused. I think it might be 200 grams. 200 grams. You get 200 grams for 50. Ah. 250 grams. Ah, okay. okay. So choose what you want. You Can we choose. give you, I give you 200 and, and we pick some more it. stuff. And then you, you get, it. and then just give us a little bit of everything. So we're gonna get a little bit of everything for 200, I think. Yeah, mix, mix of everything. That is a lot. We have, we have got a lot here. I did not expect to get this much. There's so much. Wow. Yes. More. We're getting more. This is like the cheapest market ever. Seriously. How many more? Is that bad? <laughs> 
up here. Hey. More still, we're there. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. I think we're good. I think we're... No, that's okay. I can carry. I can carry. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. There we go. What a man. The size of this bag. I don't even know what I've got. I've got a mixture of treats and sweets. But I've made a purchase. That was amazing. Look, we have two of these. Two for what? He said, it said 200, but I think it was 200 grams. But it doesn't say 50. the actual price of how much 200 grams is. So we thought it was 200 for this small bag. I'm but lost. Really... I'm so lost. But literally, that is, that is the bargain. This is the place to come for your sweets, your fresh produce. You will find the bargains here in Belgrade. At the end of the market, oh, I think we have found clothes. Now we don't actually need any clothes. There could be clothes. But we do need a mask. I need, I need a new mask. Matt I've been seeing, mask. I've been seeing Not Serbia me. masks everywhere. everywhere. And then as soon as I come to a market, I can't find oh, the Ivar on that here looks so good. Yeah. I'm not getting Ivar, I'm not getting Ivar. No, because we're not cooking, we're, not we're getting cooking. sweets, we're snacking. We're getting sweets. <laughs> Look at how big this bag is though, like. We found more than fruit and veg right at the end. Well, the fruit and veg bit is like the clothes. You've got all your sorts of clothes here. It's a bit more of a flea market, I'd say. So you can get anything you want. You've got your jogging bottoms, you've got your Nike, you've got your Adidas. Obviously, it's not real, but they haven't got masks. They've got socks. Do you want socks? Yeah, I'm not actually sure whether I need any more than my sweets. I'm just happy to have come to the market and purchased something, but it goes on for quite a bit. If you want your electrical stuff, there's electricals. It's like a maze. Uh, it's a maze. It really is a maze. There's so much going on in here. We've got yeah jeans jackets cosmetic stuff aftershave batteries controllers there's everything socks i actually might get some socks money we don't need socks do we? are you sure you might need some long socks if you want long socks mm, i think i might leave it i think i think that is it i think I've, i think i'm leaving the market why don't we get some hair Let's clippers? Let's not get hair clippers. And I can try and do your hair. Let's not get hair clippers. I, I, that is my lot. That is my lot. I'm all marketed out. Because well, after buying <laughs> it was only small. 300 grams. Like normally all of this would be open. And it's actually really famous. The red roofs here is actually something that is really renowned by the market here. Right in central Belgrade. It's just a shame that I couldn't find the mask. I can't believe how honest he was in that market. Most markets you go to, you see a price and they try and up price you as soon as they hear that Western, that foreigner. He's so good at taking the like 200 for times that. Free. Yeah, I was like 200 for the first little pack. And he was like, no, 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 this is just 50. I was like, okay, what do I get for 200? And he'd give me loads. But anyway, market hunt isn't over. We're back on Kinez Mihailova now. Walk past this every day. I know this is where they sell masks. It's cheating a little bit. I know it's not really a market, but I know they do the Serbia masks that I want to get. Hello. Hey, how much are the masks? Uh, 200. 200. I need a Serbia one. Is there one with the Serbia flag? Yeah. The flag or just these ones? Let me see. It's nice, right? Put the little flag there in the corner. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong. Only 200. Perfect. Uh, Thank you. One second. Thank you very much. So that was easy. So good. That's like one pound fifty, two dollars for a mark. So good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there you go. Same old, same old. You keep finding it in Belgrade. Everyone from Serbia is so nice. Two hundred again. I thought I was going to get not ripped off, but because you're on the main shopping street, you'd expect it to cost a lot more. Do you think I'll now like blend in with the crowd out here <laughs> yes. with my little Serbian mask? After all that shopping, we have come in to Submarine. Um, they have the best burgers in Belgrade. That isn't a lie, it is truth. We've, I'm not even gonna pretend. We've been here before when we weren't filming and we thought we, we must show you guys because if you are ever in Belgrade, we would highly recommend coming here. We've just ordered our burgers. Um, Matt's gone for a monster burger, which is a four patty burger. It is huge and I have gone for a double original. Oh, I'm so excited, they are so good. But we must be the, the craziest people ever because we're the only ones sat outside thank you very much wow. thank you thank you thank you so much look at the size of this burger we recommend <laughs> this is the best burgers in belgrade i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to eat all that it's like the size of my head there is four massive patties on that i don't actually know how to eat it you know it's big when it's got the 
the skewers <laughs> going all the way through it. I think like the best course of action is going to have to be oh, you all in what? one. All in one. Why not? Oh my God, that is so fresh. It actually says on the side, farm to table, homemade farm to table, monster defeated. It was way too cold sitting out there, but the submarine was very, hold on, very good. Hold on. Defeated, what? I wasn't defeated. I defeated the monster. <laughs> that was four patties of like. Goodness. I'm <laughs> it was like, so I'm, good. Yeah, I'm in a bad way. Yeah, and I I'm, I'm need to warm up. But I really wanted to give you a quick room tour of where we are staying. So if you want to check out this apartment in Belgrade on Instagram, it is aja.apartment. Iris is so lovely. She actually owns it with her mum. But it's a bit messy, please don't judge us. We have slept in it for a night or two. This is our lovely double bed. We have a kitchen, we have a breakfast bar. I love the breakfast bar when I'm editing. We have a radiator, which is what I need to sit on. We have all of our wardrobe space. She's put little Belgrade tips. Smart TV. Kitchen, smart TV, and a lovely bathroom. Everything you need for when you're here in Belgrade. It is actually ideal. We're located like two minutes from Knezmi Hylava. We're literally slap banging Dorchal with all the bars and restaurants, but I'm unwinding now. It's actually been quite a long day in the end. Well, they smell really, really good. Um, we started off with the best breakfast at Bloom. Done my little market hunt, which I'm now enjoying my Turkish delight. So basically, there's a story behind these. Mm. Firstly, they taste really good, but apparently, a lot of Serbian people over the years have gone on holiday to Turkey, bring them back, and they've become like a staple in the Balkans, like they'll enjoy it with a tea or a coffee. I'm not so sure it'll go really good with a coffee. But anyway, got a mask, really pleased with a mask, and then ate the biggest burger ever, so I shouldn't really be eating these, but in front way, they taste so good. But that is us pretty much living now in Belgrade. That's what it feels like with this apartment for the foreseeable. We are actually currently planning our route around the country, so make sure you like this video. Apparently, YouTube is making more of an effort to push videos with more likes, and I hate saying that. I don't know why. We used to do all that like, subscribe. I don't like telling you what to do. You know what I mean? People can like, people can subscribe if they want. I'm not, I, I watch people's videos. I'm not the biggest fan of like, like, subscribe, share. But if you could like, it'd be really appreciated. And we will see you in the next one exploring this incredible city of Belgrade.